mean, I, certainly, uh, as I look behind me, um, Sam Tyler, uh, I don't know if he supported me or not, but uh, we are going to make sure that we put different people in place uh, here on this committee, uh, throughout the committee. It doesn't matter whether they supported me or not. We're going to put people in the community that are the best for the job. We're going to be looking in academia. We're going to be looking in the healthcare industry. Uh, we're going to be looking in the neighborhoods. We're going to be looking throughout to make sure that our transition team reflects the city of Austin. But sure Should we expect matters, Taylor, it Taylor, and John to be uh, places in your administration? Uh, we haven't discussed it, so. <clears throat> but you didn't discuss it before either, and now they're half your, your team here for transition. Absolutely, they're part of my transition team because they're an important part of my campaign. But these are political positions. These are, you know, um, why shouldn't it matter if they supported you? If, 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 when, when the time comes, if, if, if anyone, anybody here is part of my administration, uh, I certainly did the qualified people. And again, as I said earlier, this transition team is about how do we move from a, from a Menino administration to a Washington administration. Sam Tyler's here today, and I don't mean to keep pointing out Sam, yeah. but during the campaign, uh, in some of these forums, Sam asked me, Sam asked me very difficult questions. Uh, and, it, you know, we, we spoke very uh, often after those forums, uh, and he's here because of somebody who can say, wait a second, this isn't the right way to go. And, and I'm, not, I'm not surrounding myself on the transition team with yes men and yes women. Uh, I'm going to surround myself with people that want to do right by government and move government forward. Right. Marty, <laughs> Marty, can you discuss a little more the, the meetings that you're going to be having around the city, the town hall meetings you mentioned? What kind of questions are you going to be asking? Uh, more listening than asking actually questions. And we did it during the campaign. We called them Monday at Marty, where we went around to neighborhoods and different uh, constituencies. Uh, and, you know, I gave my, my, my pitch as, as far as a candidate for mayor at the time. Uh, and then we listened, and we took a lot of the feedback that we received from those meetings and incorporated some of that into some of our policies. Uh, and that's what, this is really more listening than, 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 than talking. Uh, anytime the mayor offers a meeting with, with a group of people, I'm not sure going to take him up on the offer. He certainly has the experience and the history w with a lot of folks, so I'm looking forward to sitting down with, with them in the meeting uh, and then talking about some of the ideas they might have, some of the concerns they might have about the transition. Again, you know, we have a lot of business people that are concerned about a transition. Um, you know, under um, history has it under the from from a white to a Flynn administration. Uh, from what I understand, development in the city basically came to a stop for about a year. Uh, I don't know what happened from a Flynn to a Menino administration, but I don't intend on stopping de developments in, in, in progress. So we're going to continue to move and move move it forward. So Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Riedel Riedel is notorious for knuckling uh, business people to donate to help youth groups, yeah. baseball teams, and stuff. Uh, will will this be your first opportunity to show them how you knuckle? I don't, I don't know if it'll be knuckling. I might be seeing if they want to be generous to the kids in the city of Boston. I'll accept their generosity.